Okay, we'll uh, we'll get. Shall we do the role play at the end, or do you want to do it now? We have some more slides to finish. What do you want to do? We'll finish the slides. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, okay, we'll come back to this later. Okay, to to remember that when you're asking question questions, uh, you also have to be cautious about being like a lawyer, like an interrogator, right? So too many questions and in frequent succession is is not a very good thing. So be aware of over questioning. Because what happens is it gives a message to the counselee that the counsellor is in control of everything. You know, like almost that if I don't answer these questions, then I don't, uh, I'm not going to get my help, right? So get the support I need. You also need to give the counselee an impression that they have the ability to process their information and, and uh, whatever they're sharing. Um, and even when you're asking too many questions, it gives an impression. It's like a doctor, no? A doctor will say, your stomach is paining. Where is it paining? On the left, in the right? Oh, it pains in the morning? Or it comes in waves? They say, oh, OK, more than that, they're getting the answer. They're getting the answer. It shouldn't appear that way. Okay. So uh, questions in quick su succession can make them feel like as if they are interrogated. There are two types of questions, open-ended questions and closed questions. What are open questions, open-ended questions? These are questions that can't be answered in just a few words. Okay, they are they require maybe a little bit more of an explanation. And this is what encourages your client to or your counselee to speak. It also offers an opportunity for more information about what may be bothering them about other details. So open questions are usually much more effective. Okay. Uh, and usually open questions begin with what, why, how, could. Examples, what, were, what has brought you here today? Right. So when you're meeting the person, um, instead of saying, you have a problem today, is that why you've come? So they'll say, yes, over, done. No. So in, instead of saying, what has brought you here today? Or why do you think that? When they're thinking, like for example, I, I say, I said, um, it's better that I leave Bible college and go. So why do you think that? Right. So then I said, no, because I'm not able to concentrate. I'm adding on more details. Francis, come back. Okay. How did you come to consider this? Right. How did you consider leaving Bible college? What what has made your uh, made you to make a decision like that? Or could you tell me what brings you here today? So these are specific questions. That will help focus on the how, the what, the where, and the when. It gives a larger outcome. Uh, so here are some questions. How? When you ask how questions, it invites your the counselee to talk about their feelings. How did you come to a decision like this? I feel I'm not making best use of my time here. I'm wasting everybody's time. So how? It helps talk about. Feeling. So an example is, how do you feel about the way your husband talks about separation all the time? You know, I feel betrayed or I feel sad. I feel angry. I feel he doesn't care for me. Right. So it talks about how questions invites them to talk about feelings. What questions leads to facts? It gives you understanding of facts. What happens when your son gets angry? Uh, when my son gets angry, he throws things, he shouts. He th so it's a, it gives you factual information about what. When, it gives you about the timing or the uh, timing of the issue. When did this happen? When do you wish to talk to him about your problem? So it is coming to a place of analyzing the time. Where is, of course, reveals the place. Where does your child feel most comfortable? And why these information regarding the reasons? Why do you? Why have you made a decision? Why do you want to leave Bible college? Okay. So why do you think your parents are unhappy with you? Why does this job make you feel special? So these are open-ended questions. Okay. Clear. All right. Now, even when you're asking the question why, use some caution because 
what can happen is it can bring about some defensiveness. Like in Ravali's case, you may say, hey, why are you getting angry with me right now? Suppose you had brought up that the question, Ravali, I notice you're angry, but why are you getting angry with me? What will happen? Francis, here. OK. It can, they can be defensive, no? That's because you are asking me so many questions. So instead, you you use, you must have been angry with your husband, isn't it? Or, you know, you sound really upset and angry with me right now, isn't it? Right? So they'll say, yeah, I am. I am actually uh, angry. Okay? Yeah. So be careful of how you use the word. Why? Why is, can be used, but if they are in, in difficult situations where they are uh, showing a certain emotion, it can bring about this feeling of defensiveness. All right? Close questions. What are close questions? They are answered with some small response. Yes, no, not sure, maybe, I don't know. Right? It's very restrictive. And it helps you to focus on very, very specific information. Now, these can be uh, appropriate when you are attempting to clarify something. Like you're clarifying, hey, I, I understand that you are angry at me right now after our conversation. I think I upset you right now. Is that so? Yes. That, it's, a, it's a good question, but it cannot be generally used at all times. So the questions start with is, are, and do. Let's look at some examples. Do you stay with your parents? Are you working? Are you feeling sad? Um, are you thinking of committing suicide? Are there, are there strong death wishes that you have? This will give you very, very uh, straightforward answers. And sometimes they are important. OK? Now, certain differences between open and closed questions. Open questions actually help your counselee to view, um, to really vent out their thoughts and their feelings. And it is, and the question is always very broadly focused. But the close-ended questions are uh, very narrow. It comes down to something extremely narrow, and it only reflects one particular answer. Open-ended questions, there is a high scope for self-exploration. Like I say, tell me a little bit about your day yesterday. It's a, it, I'm, I'm giving you an opportunity for you to tell me all about your day rather than did you come, how was your, was your day in Bible college good or was it bad? So you say, yeah, yeah, or okay, okay, right? So it, it's more discovery. Open-ended questions give space to structure the answers. They, the, the counselee themselves are able to really structure their answer. Whereas in closed ended questions, it's very factual, very purposed. Okay, it's just direct. Open ended questions, reluctant people, that is, those who don't want to speak much, may feel less threatened when these this questions are asked, which gives them enough of freedom to share only what they want to share. But anxious um, clients may feel more comfortable with a defined question and answer format. So, like I said, it's not that closed questions are completely bad, but there is a way that time and place and situation that you can use that. Uh, Open-ended question, uh, you're, the counselee is the one who sets the agenda. But here, the counselor is one that sets the agenda. If you look at the example, Look at the example. The open-ended question is, why do you miss, what do you miss about your father? But here, you loved your father, didn't you? So then I'm very, I'm talking specifically about one area. But here, I'm talking about missing the father. So we're, we're exploring a little bit more. Okay, open-ended questions follow the counselee's lead and leads to the next response. Now, that's extremely important in... Um, uh, in, in these questions, you know, to be able to uh, lead into one question into the other. Whereas the closed questions uh, is only to make a certain point and it, and it kind of closes there. Okay?
OK, just a few more slides. There are quite a few slides. OK, maybe we'll do some more of this. OK. The, um, OK, these are examples. Examples, open-ended questions. Tell me about your feelings, about your depression. Closed ending is, when did you first notice you were getting depressed? Or another example, how do you feel you are going to do the semester? As against, do you think your grades will be lower or higher this semester? The other open-ended, tell me about your family. How do they enter into your decision? Uh, and the other one, do you feel your family is helping or hindering you with your decision? OK? Sorry? You can't see the slide? No, these are examples. These are examples. OK? All right. Now, there are additional type of questioning questions. They're called clarification questions. When you say you are fed up with Bible college, what do you mean? OK? Or sounds to me like you're saying that you're tired. Could you explain more? So these are questions of clarification. All right? So you're getting clarity. Elaboration questions. Would you care to elaborate? Is there anything more you wish to add? Would you like me to know something more? Or could you tell me elaborately about something? They are elaborate questions. Okay? Eliciting personal meaning questions. I'm wondering about the meaning of dash for you. Or you know, you're, you're the person saying something. I'm wondering what the meaning of you um, losing your job is to you. So these are personal meaning questions. Or, what do you make of that? Or why is it so important to you? Why is the, the, the situation that important to you? So these are all you're getting personal meaning out of those questions. Solution-focused questions. Now, these are very important, okay? because it helps you, helps the counselee to begin to understand how to solve their problems. What have you attempted to do about the problem to get a job? Or what are your options? What are you planning to do? How can you change your behavior? These are all looking forward into solutions. OK? Um, OK, I think we will go back and we'll come this to, to the last part of it. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. One minute. Can you all see it or it's gone? One sec, it's gone off from my screen. Which one did you want? Uh, this one, eliciting personal meaning? Elaboration questions. Is it come? No? OK, sorry. Yeah. OK, all right. So we'll go back to the. To the role play. OK? So I want a counselee, and all the rest can be counselors. But remember, we have to have um, some succession in the way that we are asking questions. OK? Don't just ask for the sake of asking. So the question here is, uh, Mary, a 19-year-old student, comes to you worried because she's not getting on with other students in her class. All right, so this is basically about asking questions. You can do a little bit of responding here, but this is for us to really learn about asking questions. OK? So who wants to be Mary? Huh? Or, or, uh, or uh, Maria Pa. <laughs> Mary or Maria Pa, it's okay.
Okay, but some of the online students, your participation is key. Huh? Okay, there are complaints that only the online students are speaking. Ravali Akka. Chira, Chira. So who will be Mary? I can be Mary. Okay, Come she's on. Mary. All right. So all the rest are counselors, which means all of y'all are going to ask questions. Okay, I will start it for y'all, and then y'all take it over. Okay. Hi, Mary. It is it's good to see you here. Thank you. Good to see you. Yeah, I see I that. See that uh, um, yeah. uh, the teacher, teacher? Your, your maths teacher asked you to meet with me. Is that it, Mary? Yeah, uh, she asked me to meet with you. Okay, all right. Um, would you understand why she wanted you to meet me, Mary? Um, I'm actually, I'm not sure completely, but I think. Uh, I've shared a concern with my maths teacher last uh, uh, last Monday, so I'm assuming regarding that she wants me to meet with you. Okay, okay. So you shared a concern with her, and that's why you feel she's um, she's asked you to meet with me. Um, would you mind sharing that with me? As to would you be okay to sharing what you shared with your maths teacher? Um, yeah, so I've been facing some kind of difficulty these days to get along with the other students in my class. Um, I've been trying to uh, make myself uh, involved in with other people to have a good friendship, but I feel I've not been included with them. Mm -hmm. So that really bothers me. Uh, because sometimes I don't get anybody to talk to or I neither get any help mm -hmm. uh, from the other students. Mm. Oh, Mary, I'm, I, what I hear is that it must be really unsettling, difficult for you uh, to, to really, uh, and you come to college every day and not to have someone sit with you, not to have others include you must be must be a very frustrating, very difficult, very sad thing, isn't it? Yeah, most of the days I, I really don't feel like coming to college because of oh. this then. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So it it just it has put off the even the desire to come back to college because you don't feel included and involved. Yes. Right. Okay. Um what what have you been feeling uh, when these friends have not included you? Okay, from here on, you're going to take on. Okay, yeah, go on, go on, Ravali. What have you been feeling when these friends have kept you away and they've excluded you from regular college stuff? I'm not sure. I felt that is there something wrong with me that they are not really. Um, I mean, why I don't know why they're excluding me. I'm not sure if there is something wrong with me, or uh, did I do something? I tried to talk it out, uh, but I I haven't got any answers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Ask. 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 Uh. Okay, maybe Re remember uh, open ended questions when you started with did you? She's either going to say yes or no. So, frame your question in such a way that will help her talk a little bit more. So, she said, I don't know if there's anything wrong with me, and that's why they are excluding me. Is this is there a problem with me? Is what her, uh, her fear is. Even online students, please add in, pitch in. Okay. 
Uh huh. Yes or no answer. Okay, you you try that. Try that. Let's see. Uh, have you ever considered of talking with them and uh, finding out the reason why they won't include you? Or... Uh, yeah, I have tried, uh, but I haven't got any uh, a clear response from them as such. They always uh, mock and just laugh at me and go away and don't give any answers of why it is happening. So I stopped asking because it's putting me more and more in an uh, embarrassing situation in the class while other students are also getting to know about it. Nikhil, Francis, Nina, Anand, and the students on online. Come on. Oh, okay. Huh. Big reply, huh? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Online students, please. Head in. Uh, so someone is written here. Jackin's written here. Sorry, I can't read. Can can somebody? My medicine's too small. Uh, question from Jachin to you. Uh, yes, yeah. it's really a tough situation that you're going through. Have you had a situation previously? where you were able to handle such a thing? Excellent question. Yeah. In the sense, in this class or uh, previously in my school, you mean? Any situation previously where uh, you felt like this and you were, and what did you do to handle it is what she's asking. Um, I think during my uh, school days, uh, I'm kind of an introvert. So I feel a little difficult to interact with people. Um, so I used to um, be like that. But eventually I tried to uh, get into people. I mean, make myself comfortable with people and make some friends. Mm. So right now I'm not sure why I'm being avoided. But yeah. Mm. What have you picked up? What did she say? She was introverted. Who? Mary, Mary. Ravali is not introvert. Ravali is not <laughs> introvert. <laughs> okay, so she's saying there was a situation earlier where this happened. She was an introvert, but something happened and I was able to make friends, but I don't know what. So what I what is your next question? Good, good. Ah. What made you to come out of that introvert? and made friends at that time so make it more specific what was one or two things you did at that time to help make friends then okay yeah you can answer that okay um so i intentionally went and spoke with people that is one thing i did okay um, and also, when somebody is trying to have a conversation with me, uh, I usually used to avoid and give short answers. But I, uh, I made sure that I'm trying. I try to show them that I'm interested in that conversation too. So it was difficult for me to do all this, but uh, you know, it, these things really help me to come out of the shell. Wait, wait. Now I want you to reflect what she said. What did she say? Don't don't wait. Remember, this is not courtroom. <laughs> reflect. So she said two things. She said. So she she went and she actually took the effort there. That's one. Second, she said is. Okay. 
yeah, she elaborated some more of those answers and that's what helped her. So she, there are two things she said. So I want you to acknowledge that. I want you to bring that up as if something, what are you doing? You're saying, wow, you did that then? Great. Huh? No, no, no. So wait, first, what are you doing is she's, she's bringing an answer to you. So acknowledge that. So you can say, oh, wow, that's, that's excellent. That's good that, you know, at that point of time, you did A and you did B. Wonderful. Maybe I want to elaborate a little bit more and say, so how did you get yourself to do that then? So I want to build the, whatever, the, 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 the strength of that. OK, so what did you? Uh, how did you do that then? What what really helped you to do that then, Ravali? To actually go there, uh, Mary, sorry, uh, to go there to them as well as to elaborate more on your answers. What really helped you to do that then? Um, what really helped me to do that? I didn't understand. How, how did how did you find yourself doing that? How did you muster that courage to do that? I think um, I took. Uh, help of my teacher back then so when I shared this problem with her she encouraged me and she uh, really pushed me out of my comfort zone and she asked me try it out uh, nothing nothing you gonna lose so I thought uh, let me give it a try so like uh, that is the way I Okay, so you were encouraged by your teacher to, she helped you, she pushed you to do that yes. and that's why you were able to do that then. Okay, next question. So what do you, you found that she did it sometime in the past and what do you want her to try and think about now? Yeah, so how do you ask it? Hmm? Now what, teacher? That you ask. That is wool gathering. That is wool gathering. Is the teacher alive there? Uh, <laughs> okay, what's the next question you will ask? Uh, Jean, can you switch roles? Can someone be Mary? I want. I have a lot of questions too. You have a lot of questions for Mary. Okay, yeah. I'll be Mary. I'll okay, be Mary, uh, oh. Princess Mary. Uh, so you can take on the next question <laughs> from there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, hi, Mary. Nice to meet you in the middle. Hello. Yeah. Nice. So, um, I heard your pro I heard your problem. I just want to ask you that: uh, Is this anything happened between you and the friends in your, I mean, the students in your class that is, you know, making them to avoid you? Is there any incident happened that you remember? Uh, so, so probably there also, it's it's become a close-ended question. You've asked, ah. <laughs> no. He said no. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see nothing happened, but you still, uh, you know, bothered about not being able to take him off. Okay. Can I come back to the conversation that she was encouraged to... Uh, Yes, yes, please go ahead with that conversation. Go ahead with that. <laughs> so that, that's really great, Mary, that your teacher encouraged you. And you are so bold to take a step uh, and try it out. Um, so, and I'm sure right now also your teacher is encouraging you. Uh, you know, they are trying to help you. And I'm also here to help you. So do you think we can do something? that helps you in this situation that you will be able to uh, get out of the inhibition and mix with the other students he's thinking okay <laughs> no. i think yeah maybe they can be something that you guys can do because from my side i always wanted to interact with people but i don't know why it's not working out when i try so maybe you can uh, go on my behalf and talk with them okay mm -hmm. we'll see so when you said you're you tried on your behalf and it is not working out 
um can you tell me how did you try like how did you try from your end uh, i tried to get involved like during the breaks when they were outside sitting under the tree having chai i also even though i don't drink a chai i take a cup of chai and went there to sit with them but they immediately are not so happy seeing me in with them they move away and it makes me so sad uh, and eventually made me not to take another step forward that's so terrible i i know you must felt so terrible you know being in that situation so sorry for that um so do you think okay nobody is asking any questions i'm <laughs> <laughs> okay so ravani i want you i want you to go back to that place where he said where you said um uh, the teacher i i approached the teacher and the teacher pushed you to uh go ahead and talk and elaborate and not give short answers okay so we're going back to that situation okay so i'm going to um, ask the this is a question i i'll i'll help so this okay. question what i'm going to ask you is uh, prince okay now prince if you could you remember what happened in the last time right yes i do so if there was one small thing that you could do which helped you then which could potentially help you now we do, we don't know we we just seeing if it could what is uh, the smallest thing that you could do uh that could help you which helped you 3 years back 5 years back whenever that situation was the smallest thing what is the smallest thing you could do the both things what i have uh, did in past i have tried it actually because uh, i stepped out of my comfort zone okay went to ask them uh, what's wrong with me uh, mm -hmm. but still there is no good response Mm -hmm. uh there is no uh, answer to my questions when mm. i stepped out and asked and uh, even when i want to like uh, to what they say i did not uh, give any any short answers i just explained why i was still going back to them and asking them mm -hmm. why what's wrong with me mm -hmm. still uh, there is no uh, uh good uh, answer that i got back so i don't know whether is there anything that i can do now from the past mm. okay so you said you've tried both the both the situations okay what uh, what the, what did they tell you when you actually asked them what's wrong with you uh, you said that you asked them some questions didn't you what did they what did they say what so, did they share with you uh, i asked two questions one is like uh, did i do anything wrong that um, may, that was making you guys be away from me and they said like we don't have anything in person personal with you there's nothing personal that yeah. they have with you so they clarified that yeah okay and then uh, the other question i asked is like then why you guys don't like to be my friends or why you don't allow me to join with you and hang out with you mm -hmm. and they said like we are not the same we are not the same what do you think they meant maybe uh i think i'm not that kind of person that can fit with them that can cope with them that uh so you saying that they felt that you the uh, you don't fit into their group yeah and what Okay. All right. Okay. Someone wants to take on from here. So you understood that her friends have said you don't fit into our group. You're way too different. That's what's happening. So okay. What? How do you want to take it from there? That's. Uh, <laughs> he said. Then you can join another group. That is what is that, uh, Anand? But rest <laughs> of the people were in the same group. I'm the only lost ship. Sheen, can we try and know that uh, because Mary is kind of very giving difficult answers. So can we try and know uh, if if there are any other group of friends? Maybe her issue is not with everybody in the class. Definitely a certain group. 
Yeah. So we can try and know that there are any other people that she could just get along with for now and rest so, his case. So rather than you bringing that up, you want to elicit it from him. Can I ask a question? Yes, yes. Please go ahead. Go ahead, Nina. Have you uh, now? I'm addressing uh, whom? Prince or Mary? <laughs> Whoever. Prince, Prince. Uh, You're prince, addressing okay, Prince. Okay. Have you thought of what you would like to do, Prince, in this particular situation? How you would like to deal with this particular thing that's happening to you? Excellent question. Have you thought of what you'd like to do in a situation like this? OK, I, I just have a question, Nina. Now, in, uh, not a, a thought. Now, in case, which is what you may hear, I don't know. That's why I've come to you. And this is a very common question. But never give up on that. Always ask, I understand, but what do you think? Mm. You know, always keep pressing. Never let them throw the ball at your court as if you're the one who has to do the thinking. They're actually the ones who have to do the thinking. So you say? So she said, she asked, how do you think you could handle this situation? What is the best way you think you could handle the situation? To know the answer only why I'm here, actually. Uh, yes, but it, uh, it will be good if it, uh, uh, you know, uh, originates from you because there is a problem. And uh, if it, it would help if you give a little more thought to it and then uh, we could begin from there and try to handle the situation uh, or to come out of it. What do you think, Prince? Uh, I don't know. I tried everything. I tried uh, walking out and uh, like I mean like coming out of my comfort zone, asking them what's wrong and... Uh, mm -hmm. And even I try to go and fit in by myself, even when they don't call me, I try to go on myself. But mm. apart from it, I don't know what else I can do. So, so Prince, you said that um, they told you that you don't fit into their group. So they've given you an answer, right? So let's start from that. So what do you think in that situation is something you can do when they have... I know it is painful that they have um, you know, kept you away. It doesn't seem fair. It it just doesn't feel right. But in a situation like that, what do you think is the least you could do? I'm going back to the same question Nina asked. Maybe find out what is that one thing that makes me not to fit with them. OK, so that's what she he answered. Maybe find out that one thing that doesn't make me a good fit in that group. OK, next question. Um, so OK, let me ask you this, Mary. Sorry, uh, forgot. Prince. Uh, say, Prince. So I want to understand, why do you feel that you want to fit in the group? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Probably wait. Take yeah. it from where he, where he started. Yeah. Where he started, he said, "I want, uh, I want to find out what will make me fit into that group." So that's where he ended. Yeah. So first, yeah. explore yeah. that. Yeah. Explore Can I that. ask another question? Sure, sure, Nina, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Prince, have you tried to, uh, you know, just sit back and reflect on, okay, maybe this is where this could be it. Have you just tried to do that, reflect on it? or I mean, do we presume that they know God or uh, or we, we don't, we stay away from that, Jean? Or have you do tried to say that? Do presume that they know God? Um, or, or no. Or, that I you mean, are all believers, basically, that's what she's asking. What do you want? Yeah. You decide. No, no, she said, is it, uh, should we presume that you all are all believers? That you and your friends are all believers. She's saying, should we presume that? So, what do you think? Should we? Should you presume that? 
you are the client. That's why I'm asking you. Are you all believers or not believers? Actually, I am, but uh, in this situation, I am not. Okay. She said not. He said not. Not a believer. So, so, uh, so no. So there are no suggestions now. But I'm, so I'm, but I'm just still asking, have you tried to reflect on it, sit back, think about it, and uh, uh, try to find a solution there? Since you have tried the other things and it has not worked, have you, have you tried doing that? What so what I think she's asking is, what do you think in your mind that is keep setting you, yeah. setting that group apart from you? What do you think that is? Yeah, like analyzing my children. Yeah, so you're trying to think to see what is it that group, uh, in that group that you don't fit in. So that's basically what she's asking. Yeah. Okay, someone's asked, uh, Jackin's asked. Okay, uh, can I answer? Uh, yeah, yeah, answer. answer. But whose question are you answering? Nina's. Nina's question. Go ahead. So, yes, uh, I. There are times I uh, sat alone and I uh, analyzed and tried to find answer. What is that one thing that was not that was making me not to fit with them? And uh, I think maybe because uh, they are backbencher students, I'm the front bench student. That's the answer I got. But I don't know whether it's true or not. Uh, okay. Would you like to do something to rectify that so that there's no uh, you know, marked difference like that which stands out? Would you like to do something to rectify that? So, so uh, Nina, what I think he meant by backbencher, okay. uh, frontbencher is backbenchers are those who don't study, frontbencher is the one yeah. who studies. Is that what you meant? Not. Uh, uh... In the context of study, but uh, they are so mischievous, have so fun. Oh, okay. But I'm not that. I'm so. Uh, you know, He's a good student. He's a. Good I'm so shows. fearful. Oh. Not that much uh, out of the box, not so active. Hmm. So that's what oh. he meant. Okay, okay. So, I mean, would you like to just hold on for some time and. Uh, uh, take time to be on yourself for some more time and uh, then look at it again uh, the problem would that help she said would you like to no stay on your own for some time would that help she asked so I think this is where uh, Jackin's question will help she said have you observed anyone from within your classmates who may be helpful? <laughs> who do you think could be helpful in this regard? I don't know because uh, everybody thinks I am not of fun. Like, I, I mean, uh, in the sense, like, uh, everybody thinks like, I don't really uh, be that person whom everybody can enjoy with. Everybody have uh, their own group of friends, but I'm the one person who is alone, actually. OK, so I would ask, so Prince, in the last one year, in the last one year in your, in your class, college, in your class with this classmate, um, give me one interaction you've had with one person, any one person in your class. I have to tell the whole thing. This one small thing. Like uh, I had an interaction with this uh, one person. Mm. Uh, during exams, he just asked me uh, to uh, help him with what are the important questions. Okay, so then I see that people see you with the, uh, they approach you because they know that you know your subject or you know your 
uh, academics very well, that you do your academics very well? Yes. Okay. So do you think this sets you apart from others? Yeah, maybe because there are also other students who can do very good with their academics too. Mm -hmm. mm. So I see you found one way to connect with somebody that was through your academics. Yes. Uh, what would it look like if you use this one skill that is your good in ac academics with anyone in your class? What would it look like if you use that? How would it look like? You have a fellowship of those who have who are good at studies. Yes. Okay. What would it make you feel then if you had a group you could connect with because of academics? You'll be bored. Okay. So what do you want? I know all the other. I also want to uh, be like those people who are so mischievous, naughty, uh, have fun. Yeah. So you want to become like those who are mischievous and naughty? Not always, but I also want to experience that. You Not want to experience. want to be silent, that. calm, person. Okay. So you want to be somebody different from what you are. Yes. Okay. OK. All right. You have a client over here who wants something on the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> OK. All right. So I, I think, I mean, you'll, you guys did an excellent job of you know getting these questions. Very good. I think some beautiful questions came up. Good job. Good job to everyone. OK. We'll just quickly finish up uh, the, uh, the, the rest of the slides. Um, I want to do one specifically. Okay, I just want to look at this ideal patterns of questioning. Uh, yeah, okay, it's some of that. Okay, so what is an ideal pattern of questioning? Okay, uh, one of the first things is yes, when Mary spoke about her issue. The first thing that you need to do is respond to feelings. So you're, you're saying something like, you're worried about these relationships. You're responding to feeling. And then you bring about open questions. You know, can you tell me more? Right? Then it's paraphrasing. So whatever she is telling you, you've paraphrased and said, OK, I hear that the others are all in one group. They're getting on well. But you're responding to content. But you actually feel left out. OK, then, oh, sorry. Then you, then you get an open question. How do they behave with you? And then there is maybe certain answers that she gives, and you're clarifying. So you don't feel included rather than, than they dislike you. Have I got you right? So then you know, you're making certain clarifications about what is being said. And then again, an open question. How do you behave towards them? And then you're personalizing it. You feel lonely because you keep more to yourself and you would like to overcome your fear of them. So if you look at the patterns of questioning, it moves in, I'm just going back, to responding to feelings. You're opening the quest. You are having, giving them an open question. You're paraphrasing what's happening. You're responding to the content. You have, again, clarified. You've brought about an open question. And then you're personalizing, so much so that You've brought the issue back to um, Mary, in which you're saying you'd like to overcome your fear of them. In, in this situation, that's how that entire um, pattern of questioning went. Okay, So it's not always about bombarding them with questions, but over time, being able to help to respond, to, to clarify, to summarize, and then coming to a place to personalize. And that's what we did at the end. right? OK, you said you want to find out what it is that keeps you apart. What do you think that keeps you? So you've helped them to personalize and said, OK, I, she, he finally said, I want to be mischievous like them. That's the goal that he has. OK, so we stopped it there because that's the goal that he has. And this can, this can go in very, very many different ways. OK, 
Um, quickly, just want to see if I, I think I just missed out a few here. OK, so there are certain wrong techniques is to bombarding or grilling, not asking too many questions at one time. You know, what, what do you think? How are you feeling? Uh, you know, what are your friends feeling? Not asking multiple questions. Uh, please tell me about yourself. How old are you? Where were you born? Do you have any children? What do you do for a living? These are all multiple. It's bombarding and asking multiple questions. Then asking questions as statements. Don't you think it would be helpful if you studied more? That's actually a suggestion. But you've just brought it about in a question. OK? Um, that, again, is, is wrong. Too many why questions. Why did you do that? Or why are you like this? Those, again, could bring about some difficult answers as well. OK, I think that should suffice for, for that. All right. Now, like I said, these are all needs to be practiced. The more that we practice it, the better that we get. So even in your interactions with people at home, build your questioning skills. Because the better your questioning becomes, your counseling becomes a lot more enriching. OK? All right. Thank you so much. Let's just quickly close with a word of prayer. A reminder, please ensure that you do your uh, uh, assessment. for two. Uh, you have time for two weeks. Uh, the online students, e-learning students, you have time till the end of the course. Let's just, uh, Prince, would you close with a word of prayer, please?